Well, well, well. Walmart carries a little tactical like flashlight. First, it's by Kodak Lighting, 500 lumens, but it has a turbo mode, 1000 lumens, and it has 500 lumens is high, 250 is medium, and 25 is low. 25 runs for 12 hours, 250, 2 hours, 500, 1 hour, and 1000, uh, is it 30 second? It's probably a burst or whatever. With rechargeable magnetic charging. This was $20 at Walmart. It's tiny. It's got the little clip. Let's see what the size is. Inches. From the top to the bottom, it's under three inches. Just slightly under three inches. I don't know if you can see that. It's three right over there. Just slightly under three inches. And width. Let's go to the width. Just under an inch, about three-fourths of an inch. Not even. Let's go to the widest point. Yeah, it's definitely under an inch. So it's about three-fourths of an inch all the way down. And it's got a 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Deny the dark Kodak lighting. Um, yep, turbo, 1,000 lumens, runtime 30 seconds. High, one hour at 500 lumens. Medium, 2 hours at 250 lumens, and low, 12 hours. It's got a 7 milliamp, um, probably battery in it, 3.7 voltage, charged 200%, 1 hour. So, max time on 24 lumens is 12 hours. So, medium, you only get 2 hours at 250 lumens. But that's more than bright enough for most jobs. Even 25 lumens in the dark is bright enough for most jobs. You got the charging cable included. It's magnetic. It's got a little circle. You got this. Let me open the box real quick and be right back. Just open it out the package. You got the charger cord here. And uh, as you see, the charger cord is magnetic. It just clips to it here. But we'll get this out the way before we even get to it. When I first thing I noticed when I turned it on, I don't know if it, you're hearing that. I'm going to try to audio edit it. Not just, I'm not going to edit it out just to try to turn up the volume to see if you can hear it. It's the high pitch hum automatically. Once you, that's just very annoying. I don't, yeah, it's doing it. But then when it, you hold down the button, it goes on turbo mode and there's no sound at all. So that's perfectly fine. So it works perfect in turbo mode, but when you click, click through your lower settings, you're hearing a hum like there's power restriction. And the only way you don't hear that hum is if you hold down and you put it on turbo mode, which is bright. It's super bright for this flashlight, for this tiny flashlight. And it's smaller than my finger. This thing's about as wide as my thumb. I mean, it's tiny. But on this turbo mode, it's definitely getting warm. Usually they have a warm caution hot sticker on these things. I guess it's just going to step down after 30 seconds. Let's see. And that's just one of these China-made ones where next thing you know, it's going to blow up. I don't like that buzzing sound. I am not trying to be rude. Oh, my camera's freaking out. Oh, maybe we should turn it away. <laughs> I told you it's a bright light. And you could definitely hear it hum. I don't like that. I don't want this thing to blow up. Oh, it's getting super hot, too. Wow. It's super hot. I don't think it's got a step-down mode. I think this thing might just blow. And that's what's the difference. Like, this is going to get hot, but at least there's a warning about it. This one's definitely hot, and it would probably burn you if you left it on any longer. Um... I was looking for a cool little, you know, so I could clip this to my uh, hat, you know. That's the only cool thing. Let me show you. You know, a hat flashlight. We can clip it to it and do some work, you know. Cool little hat. But, yeah, for 20 bucks, you know, I, want to spend, I don't want to spend another $100 on a flashlight. I mean, I'm not rich, so. But this definitely, this flashlight is something else. This thing will blind you. This is a great flashlight. 
but we're not talking about this one. We'll do it. We'll do that later on. Right now, we're talking about this Kodak lighting from Walmart. I'm definitely going to be returning this because this does not sound right. Like, I mean, it's just annoying. Listen. I mean, it's... I mean, I don't know if it's got my camera freaking out. But, I mean, it definitely has a... Uh, and it's already warm. It's super hot in here. Something don't feel right. You hold it down. Bam. It gets turbo mode. It's got the light to indicate it's on. Press it once. There is no tail cap, so don't ask. There is a part for a lanyard. Um... I don't even know if you could take it apart. Yeah, you can unscrew it. Let's unscrew it. Let's see what's in here. Okay. So we just got a rechargeable. What the heck? Is it stuck to it? It's magnetic. So, yeah. It's all magnetic in there. Everything's magnetized. So, looks like a 1, 2, 3A. Either way. Looks like it would fit a CR, you know, one of them 123A batteries, but I don't know. This is a 700 milliamp battery. Um, it goes right in there. And that doesn't sound right. Like something that sounds, it doesn't, I'm not trying to bash this company. Don't get me wrong. I got the right idea. Like this is, at this factor, this is cool. I don't know if I got a defect or what. And then I can already see, what's that, the O-ring? Yeah. The O-ring, just from taking the flashlight off once, was out of place. I just pushed it back down. Um, sometimes you get what you pay for. I mean, this light is still extremely hot. I haven't even used it. <laughs> but, yeah, not even 30 seconds or whatever. I mean, I've been at a time. Let's turn it on and off. But, I mean, the form factor, like, this is it. This would be the perfect baseball hat clip it on your hat, you know, but it it would need, you know, four hours run time at least at 200 lumens, you know, maybe make it 150 lumens and it run for, yeah, eight hours and that would be perfect, you know, perfect work day where someone's working, doing some things they need. So, you know, it's, I mean, the fact that, like, the cool fact that, like, it's, it's tiny, like, and look at that, that magnet just snapped to there, but no, the magnet snaps to this part charging port and it snaps on there i mean they got the right idea with it like i mean it's cool don't get me wrong like next to here i'll put a triple a battery next to it to show you the size factor i mean that's a triple a battery next to it so it's a tiny little flashlight i mean i'm not i'm not trying to knock it but literally when i turn it on i get noise it's like a power restriction. And I don't know if over time that would break in, but there's no noise when you, bam, hit the power, turbo mode, ain't no noise. I mean, the turbo mode is super bright too, like, but you're only supposed to use it for 30 seconds, so. Yeah, I mean, for twenty dollars, you want a super bright flashlight just to play around with. But yeah, once once you've had something, you know, just you know, I guess once you drove the Rolls Royce, you don't want the Honda no more, or whatever. Even though the Honda's great, but I wouldn't even compare this to a Honda. I would compare this to like a Beater because Hondas are still decent cars. They're good cars, so this is still gonna get the job done, but. It's not, yeah, it's definitely not, yeah. I probably did him a favor by making the YouTube short by saying EDC light, flashlight. So they probably sell a bunch of lights. People probably be really mad at me, but hey, they need to come across my videos and watch the whole review because um, I'm going to give this light out of a 10, a 2, 2 out of 10, an EDC Maybe even one and a half. I'm sorry. I have to be honest. I mean, that's it.